In this video, you'll see how to get started with AWS Systems Manager Explorer. This feature provides a view of aggregated operations data across multiple AWS accounts and regions in a highly customizable dashboard of actionable information. Let's start by going to Systems Manager to set up Explorer. There are two setup methods you can use. The first method begins on the Explorer screen. Click Get Started. Explorer Setup provides an integrated setup experience for AWS Systems Manager Explorer and Ops Center. Use the options to configure permissions and settings for viewing Ops data in Explorer and automatically creating Ops items in Ops Center. Let's retain the default settings and enable Explorer. This is the Explorer dashboard. We'll look at it in more detail shortly. The second method, Quick Setup, allows you to set up Explorer along with required security roles and other systems manager capabilities following AWS best practices. If you set up Explorer using the first method, you can still go through Quick Setup. Again, let's retain the default settings. With Quick Setup, you can enable Explorer automatically across multiple accounts and regions in just a few clicks. By default, the targets are all Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instances across our AWS organization. Enable Explorer. Once Explorer is set up using either method, the next step is to aggregate ops data and ops items from the regions and accounts in your organization. To do that, we'll create a resource data sync. We'll name the data sync and then select which accounts to include. In this case, we'll include all accounts, as well as all current and future regions. If you set up Explorer through Quick Setup, it will by default create a resource data sync with your selected accounts and regions. Next, let's review the Explorer settings. Ops Items rules define which operational events create ops items. You can disable any of these default rules and create new ones. You can register one account in your organization as a delegated administrator for Explorer. Before we continue, let's verify that our resource data sync was created and that it has the correct configuration. We can see that the resource data sync we created spans our entire AWS organization and all current and future regions. Now let's look at the dashboard configuration settings. The Explorer dashboard displays ops data in individual report boxes called widgets. You can choose which ops data sources and widgets to include. You can also filter the ops data sources by category. When you disable a source, its widget is removed. You can also retain a source but remove its widget. Let's clear these filters and restore the settings. Next, let's go to the Explorer dashboard. Let's filter our ops data to show data from the resource data sync we created. We can go a step further and look at ops data from a single region. The Explorer dashboard layout is highly customizable. You can move, remove, add, and even resize the widgets. Let's move this widget closer to the middle. Let's remove this widget. You can easily add back widgets and reset your layout. Now let's interact with a widget. We'll look at the AWS Config Compliance Summary widget. We can click on the links in the widget to see its details. Here we can see details for non-compliant config rules, including the rule name, remediation action, compliance, account, and region. Ops data filtering is a powerful tool that can help you find exactly what you're looking for. For instance, we can change the filter to see all compliant config rules. Then, we can add another filter for those rules associated with EC2. We can click one of these config rules to navigate directly to its AWS service screen. 
From here, you can quickly access your EC2 instances. Let's return to Systems Manager Explorer to see a few other features. You can export ops data as a CSV file to an existing Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon S3 bucket. You can create an Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS, topic as well. In addition to using the Explorer console, you can access your ops data using the Get Ops Summary API. The online documentation provides information on the request and response syntax you can use for leveraging API calls. You've just seen how to get started with AWS Systems Manager Explorer. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.